most common word. If you stick with the most common word, you will uh, be very, very familiar with that. So I, I'm very conscious of that. So every time I try to instill upon the kids, gigawabba men. I shall see you later. Good word for bye. Bye, gigawabba men. Technically what you're saying is I will see you again. The root word is wabam. The rest of it is shell. And then the GI and the IN combined makes it I to you. Once you know that, you can change the word. I shall see you later. I shall visit with you later. Giga Mao edition Nagaj. I will eat with, uh, sit with you later. Giga Wita Min. So the consistent there, see there is G I I N. <coughs> and then without that, it's the same thing, I N. So people ask me, how do you say I love you? I get to do is put the word for love right there. Zagi. Zagi. With a glow. How do you say I hate you? Gijin Gainamin. And it's it's interesting that that word for I hate you, you have to crinkle your nose when you're speaking it. Gijin Gainamin. I do anyway. Gijin Gainamin. Gijin Gainamin. So what I do <coughs> is uh, these types of verbs are in a verb classification called VTA. That just means that the verb that you're using is an animate verb. So the T means that it's transitive. It's happening between two people. I see you. I love you. I hate you. You see me. Either way. <coughs> and so what I do is I give them a list of VTAs. Tony Troyer created a lot of the VTA list. It's just a matter of going in a dictionary and picking it out and showing it that on, on there. And so, once you know very little patterns like that way, it's really, it's really cool. G-I, I-G, is she, she, she to you. You should go visit your grandmother. She misses you. Gwen na na meg. Gwen. Na way nim. That's the root word right there. She misses you. Gigwin na way namig. That's a very enduring term. It's a it's a word that uh, <coughs> when somebody misses you, what do you do? You go visit them. You know, so that that relationship that occurs like right there. <coughs>